Folks, greetings. I am presenting this video on behalf of Shanti Kumar V. Please search his public profile and LinkedIn. He is three decades global experienced IT professional. In this video, he would like to present the following for the freshers. AWS DevOps course for freshers with project level tasks. For course booking, connect with me on LinkedIn with Shanti Kumar V www.linkedin.com slash in slash scummary practices, WhatsApp hash plus 91 to 8885504679. Visit the below Facebook pages with videos. Build Cloudcom DevOps Architects, one-on-one -on -one coaching for Cloudcom DevOps Architect roles, Build Cloudcom DevOps Architects, microservices and Docker. Visit my blog site for many questions and answers through blog slash videos, https colon slash slash skumar dot blog slash visit youtube channel shanti kumar v a detailed course narration is given in the below slides one dot this course is designed for the freshers by a three decades globally experienced it professional after studying many consulting projects and the skill gap issues of different project teams two dot they can show these course project tasks done by them during the course in their profile 3. The participant will be able to attend the interview for an AWS DevOps fresher position, along with a live screen test without a proxy interview. Interview preparation coaching will be given. 4. During the job, they will be honored for their skills learned from this course and self-demonstration in the team to complete the project task before the schedule. This can add value for the candidate's future appraisals and for their IT ladder growth. 5. It's purely a job-oriented course for freshers with live similar project activities through IT experienced professional. You will be enforced to do the tasks in the session. The coacher slash trainer will not touch the screen for lab demo. Note, all the tasks the student will do is a demo in the session. Before coming to the demo he or she need to practice through material given to them. This makes the participant highly self-motivated with confidence on technical learning. It motivates them for the job activities also, during their job. I. AWS Code Repository. Introduction to VCS and Git. What you learn from this? 1. What is version control system? 2. How the multiple version control systems were used. 3. What are the latest VCS benefits? 4. How Git works? 5. What are the benefits we get by using Git on projects? Installation of Git and its implementation using GitHub. What you learn from this? 1. How to install it on Linux slash Widows, self-doing in the session on a Linux cloud virtual box. 2. How to use GitHub. 3. How to create the files on GitHub. 4. How to download the GitHub project into local VCS slash Git. All these you will do in the session by yourself. 2. AWS code. Commit. AWS Code Commit is a DevOps process to manage the code repositories in cloud. Creating an IAM role using Code Commit custom policy. What you learn from this? 1. In AWS to use any services, you need to have the IAM roles. 2. Through this you will have access to the selected service. 3. So, to utilize the AWS custom policy of Code Commit, you will create your own used it from the main account. Then this can be used to access the code commit services. Installation of AWS CLI in your laptop. What you learn from this? 1. You need to install Tech AWS CLI on your laptop to use the AWS services from the your laptop. 2. You will be able to log in with the user ID created with IAM role. What is AWS code commit and how to manage Amazon SaaS Git? 1. You will learn the AWS code commit process. 2. You will learn how to manage the AWS SaaS Git for your tasks. What is AWS code commit and how to manage Amazon SaaS Git? What you learn from this? 1. You will learn the AWS code commit process. 2. You will learn how to manage the AWS SaaS Git for your tasks. Creating repository using AWS code commit service through console. What you learn from this? 1. By using the above IAM user ID, you will access the code commit services. 2. You will create a code repository by self in the session through AWS console. Usage of code commit for HTTP users, 
What you learn from this? 1. There are three categories of AWS services usage A, with console for HTTP users, B, with SSH connection, C, with CLI. 2. In this session you will use console through browser and create the code repository in the session. Note, before coming to demo of your console usage you need to study and practice for a right demo. Creating repository using AWS code commit service through AWS CLI from EC2. What you learn from this? 1. In this session you will use the CLI services and create the code repository.2. Before coming to demo of your CLI usage you need to study and practice for a write demo. The error-free demo can give confidence for you to attend the interviews confidently. If this task fails, they can disqualify you with CLI questions easily. How to apply security and restrictions, what you learn from this. 1. You will learn different policies and how to use them for the right security. How to migrate a Git repository to AWS code commit, what you learn from this. 1. You have created in the past session, GitHub account and a repository. 2. You have uploaded the objects into the code repository. 2. Now to use these artifacts in the AWS DevOps process, you need to migrate it to AWS code repository. 3. You will do the same task here. Assume a development project is there in the company in GitHub. They plan to move into AWS DevOps. You will do the same and verify it. 4. You need to practice in the back end and come for a positive demo. Cloning code commit repository into local machine, what you learned from this? 1. Now your GitHub code repository is there in AWS code repository. 2. You will clone it into the local machine. Pushing the GitHub repo to code commit new repo. What you learned from this? You have already created the AWS code repository. 2. Now the GitHub repository is in your local Git repository. 3. It need to be pushed to AWS code repository through this task. 3. Building application with code build. Now from the previous sessions, your code is there in AWS code repository. It need to be packaged into a build. This will be done through the code build process. We are going to use different technical build tools under code build process, which is mentioned in the below. Building a Java application using Maven. Building a Node.js application using Yarn. Building a Maven application using AWS Code Build Console. Building a sample Node.js application using AWS Code Build via buildspec.yml. For deploy application with code deploy and code pipeline. In AWS, code deploy is the service to deploy the code in the test or production environment. From this section you will learn different tasks. Again the DevOps tax can be streamlined as sequence of activities to run offline though an automation process, which is code pipeline services. You will be integrating all the above process tasks into a code pipeline activity in this section and will be testing them. The concepts and tasks what you will learn and do from this section are mentioned in the below. The deployment strategy in AWS code. Deploy. Writing an application specific file. Deploying a static application in an EC2 instance from the S3 bucket using AWS. Code. Deploy. Introducing AWS code pipeline and its working. Continuous deployment of static application to AWS S3 using AWS code. Pipeline. Folks, we appreciate you on watching this video. Please make your decision faster to book your seat. We wish you a great success in your career.